when she had a cold, my nan would put um, garlic in her socks. Um, <laughs> what? Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm Proper Tasty's resident chef. I'm classically trained and I'm some of the hands you see in the Tasty videos. Hi, I'm Josie. I'm not classically trained. Um, I would say that my style of cooking is quick and easy. I love food. <laughs> Usually when I'm cooking, it's like at the end of the day, when I'm getting back from work. Usually I'm so tired that I end up doing something really convenient and quick. So here's how it works. You are gonna watch me create the recipe from scratch, mm -hmm. but watch closely because then it will be your turn to repeat the recipe. Great. <laughs> I will be downstairs okay. watching you on a monitor. But don't worry, because you will have three lifelines. Mm -hmm. You have Call Chloe, you have Ask the Crew. Come on, guys, don't let me down. I'll help you. It doesn't look promising, does no, it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and the third lifeline is this or that. This sounds interesting. I don't have that good of a memory, so <laughs> this is going to be fun. Today's recipe is Beef Wellington. We've got a beautiful piece of beef tenderloin and I'm very confident that you are going to be able to make the perfect beef wellington. Fingers crossed. <laughs> first things first, season it. All over, make sure we season the ends as well. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to sear our beef. And this is just to add flavour to okay. the meat. I feel like when I watch cooking shows, they're always like, and sear the meat, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> Never miss that step. When we sear meat, we're caramelising the proteins and the sugar to the meat. Ooh. And you'll see now, I'm just going to turn this over. Yeah. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I feel like I'm getting a science lesson <laughs> today. <laughs> we're just going to quickly sear the two ends as well. OK. Oh, oh. look at that. So, so good. So the next thing you want to do yeah. is just remove the string from the meat. And next, we're going to brush it with mustard. OK. Is that literally like a painting brush? No, 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 this is a proper pastry brush. Oh, OK. <laughs> Can't just use like an oil brush. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is going to sit for probably around half an hour now. Oh, right. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is yeah. move on to our mushroom mixture. OK. Traditionally, it's called a duck cell. A what? A duck cell. Why? There's no duck in it. <laughs> There's no duck in it. It's basically a mixture of mushrooms, okay. shallots, garlic. I love garlic. Let's put as much garlic in as possible. Too. Okay, so just pop your hand over there. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to do this in about three batches. Oh. We've got about a tablespoon of butter here. Season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then this just needs to cook down for about half an hour. We want it to dry out as much as possible. OK. This is done now. Mm -hmm. It's halved in size. There's no water left in the pan. We just need to take it out of the pan. Yep. And I'm just going to pop this in the fridge until it's cooled down. Cool. Duck cell. Duck cell. <laughs> now we move on to the encasing of our beautiful piece of beef. OK, the first thing you need to do is mm -hmm. lay out a good layer of cling film. OK. And the next thing we need to do is lay down six pieces mm -hmm. of prosciutto. How many is in there? Six. So you don't have one spare to no. nibble on? All being overlaid. You can have that bit if you want. Oh, thank you. So next we're going to get our duck cell. We're just going to spread it over okay. in one even layer. Get our lovely beef and we're just going to place it. And I'm going to roll it like that. So I'm just going to pinch it like I'm making a big sweetie okay. here. Twisting the ends. It's like a toffee. It is like a big toffee. Best toffee in the world. Yeah. And then this is going to go in the freezer for 10 minutes. I've got some puff pastry, ready roll puff pastry. We're cheating. No, it's not cheating. <laughs> it's just as good as what you're going to make at home. Lay him down. So he's a he now. He is a he. He's always been a he to me. <laughs> Think. He's quite big, isn't he? <laughs> Again, using our cling film, mm -hmm. roll it over, fold the edges down where it meets. Mm -hmm. So okay. now this is just going to go in the fridge mm -hmm. for 10 minutes just to chill. Fridge, not freezer. Fridge, not freezer. Okay. So, it's the final part. Oh my god. 
first thing I'm going to do mm -hmm. is egg wash it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By scoring the pastry, just okay. make sure that the uh, pastry rises evenly. Right, okay. You can decorate your beef wellington as much or as little as you like. Okay. I'm just going to finish it with some more egg wash. Sprinkle a little bit of sea salt over the top. Off to the oven. Yeah. And we will have a beautiful beef wellington. I feel kind of confident. I feel like I've banked all of the different steps in my head, but I'm also a little bit scared about actually doing it when it comes to not just watching Chloe. Right, are you ready? I'm so excited. Okay, let's... Are you kind of nervous? I am nervous, yeah. Oh yeah. my God. You're the pro, so you can't show yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> yeah. That looks amazing. Oh my god. It's gravy as well. Oh. oh. Perfect. Well, here we go. Here's to our beef wellington. Cheers. And for you doing this as well. Oh my god. Mm. How is it? Is it okay? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Okay, Josie. Now it's time for you to repeat the recipe. Okay, I'll give it okay. a go. I'll give it my best shot. Good luck. Leave me with this. Oh I'll, yeah, you I'll can. This you one. can have that. Yeah. <laughs> She's out. Mm. We can't let this go to waste. No. How are we gonna, what are we going to do? Beef Wellington to me is like a quintessentially British dish. I do want to have like dinner parties and have people round and kind of show off a little bit. Come on, Josie. You can do this. <laughs> Sorry. So I remember my first thing that I need to do is season. So I'm maybe going to be a bit less liberal than Chloe was with the pepper. Everyone should season their food, so that was fine. But then searing it, I've, it's not something I typically do. Tongs, Josie. Use the tongs. It's getting a bit smoky in there now. <laughs> Quite smoky now. I maybe overthought it a bit because I was scared that Chloe was probably watching. Yeah, she's doing the end. Josie, I think you're good now. I would get that out of the pan. Okay, so I think I'm, I reckon I'm done. That looks great. Now I'm starting to reconsider. Do I rest it or do I mustard? Do the mustard now. Mustard. Remember, it gets its rest time after you've put the mustard on, Josie. I don't want to use a lifeline this early on. I think I maybe need to rest it a little bit now because if you put mustard on something that's quite hot, surely it's just going to like slide off. You want to put that mustard on whilst it's hot because it's going to help the piece of meat absorb all that mustard flavour. Why is my memory so crap? Okay. See, it's like, it's not going... Ah. The best thing that could happen now is that she continues to paint that Dijon mustard on. I don't know, it's not going on as like thickly as I want it to. Okay. I'm gonna ask the crew. <laughs> So my question is, do you think I should rest the meat before I put the mustard on, or do you think I should put the mustard on and then rest the meat? Well, I have another discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Having to use a lifeline so early on, ask the crew, was probably not how I planned it to go. So we don't really think it matters either way. Ah! Oh! This is cruel! Okay, I'm just gonna go for it then. Ask the crew was a wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised that she has forgotten to take the string off. I definitely cut the strings of the wrong part. I should have cut the strings before I put on the mustard. Now I'm going to have super mustardy hands, but I'm just doing it my own way. Easy mistake to make, I want to say to myself. <laughs> and now I rest it and do your mushrooms. It was called a duck spell, I want to say. <laughs> duck spell. She's nearly there. I need to chop all these, put them in the food processor. 
but I feel like this is one bit that I can do quite well. Any jokes about Charlotte? You put me right on the spot there. I don't know. I don't think I know any jokes about shallots. I don't know any jokes about shallots. I don't know if it's a joke, but you know, that shallot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible, Niall. I love garlic, so if it was up to me, I'd put like double the amount. They're pretty big garlic cloves as it is. So I'm just going to double off on. Oh my god, double up? I feel like five cloves is maybe enough for this, though. OK. Now I'm just going to, like, repeat the process. I feel like I've got this bit down. Yeah. Why is it not working? Oh. You have to lock it? <laughs> uh, have I got it? No. I hope she doesn't use a lifeline on this, how to use the food processor. <laughs> how do you do this? Am I going to have to ask someone? Is this going to be a lifeline used? <gasps> no, I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Round number two. <laughs> I'm gonna do this now. Turn it round. Am I being, I am being stupid, I know that. Turn it round. Up, up, up. No, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, bloody. Yeah. Oh, there we go. She's done it! Oh my god. No. Uh, no. I'm gonna have to use a lifeline. No, don't use your lifeline on the food processor. Do you guys know what it is that I'm doing? No. We already used us. The crew weren't that helpful though. I think I should get a do-over. <laughs> I do it for her. Okay, we've got three people <laughs> are trying to work out the food process. All the way around, all the way around. Yes! Yes! How many tasty people does it take to get a food processor to work? Shallot. It took like three people to get that processor to work in the end, so I actually felt like that was like vindication that it wasn't just me being stupid. <laughs> okay. Now, cook down the mushrooms. This is probably where we're going to do a time lapse, I hope. Mm. Which is good. The whole cling film thing made it really easy, and like you just place it on there, and then you put the mushroom on top, and you just kind of make sure it's quite even. She's doing good. That looks like a really nice, even layer. To me, this is one of the pinnacle moments, so I feel quite nervous about it. Yes! Yes! Perfect. And then I'm going to put this in the freezer for 10 minutes. Yes! So come with me, little beef baby. <laughs> I kind of knew that the pastry, you didn't want it to be too warm, so I was scared about when I should get the pastry out. I'm tempted to call Chloe about the pastry because I don't want to mess it up. Chloe! Here we go. Smells delightful. Yeah, it does. <laughs> How can I be of assistance? So, I have just put the beef wellington into the freezer to cool. But, should I get the pastry out now? Or should I get it out in 10 minutes time when I get the beef out? Because it needs to warm, doesn't it? Well, you can get it out now because okay. most store-bought puff pastry recommends to get it out around 10 to 15 minutes before you're going to use it. Perfect. Smashed it. Cool. So see you in a bit. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. <laughs> Bye. Wrap it like a present. Curl it in, curl it in. Perfect. And then put him in the fridge. I really want him to be quite golden, like Chloe was saying. 
that scoring looks really good. The decorating is where you can kind of be creative and make it your own. I'm going to put on some stripes on the end. So he's got like a little bit of a boy racer feel going on. Boy racer feel. <laughs> this is a very romantic gesture to her that I'm putting our names together. Fabulous, fun little leg wash. I'm intrigued to see how she's going to transport that over onto a baking tray. Definitely did it wrong by like decorating on here. But I think he's ready to go in. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to put it on for, I think it's 240. Not 240. So. Now I think maybe I should ask Chloe. Should I? Could I do with this or that? She's going to go for her last lifeline. I definitely know the time, so I'm going to ask her what temperature should I put the oven on? I'm going to give her answer A, 200 degrees or B, 240 degrees. Okay, like my instinct said 240 degrees. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I... Oh no. Okay, 240. <laughs> uh, I completely blanked on what temperature to put it at and kind of thought it was 240. So, on second reflection, the oven doesn't actually go up to 240, so I've put it on for 200. I feel like now I've kind of failed, but it's fine. I'll see how it goes. No, you haven't. You haven't failed. I mean, everyone says that when you see their baby for the first time, you like instantly love it. And that was what I felt with mine. So, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> it looks so good! <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm honestly so excited as well. You've got a J, you've got a C on there. Look at that leaf. Yeah. Look at the detail. It smells amazing. Oh, that is so good. Oh, it smells so detailed. It smells amazing. Oh, it's quite tender. Yeah. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. Let's have a look. It looks so oh, good. Perfect. To you, Josie. To me and to you. To what? your perfect tutorage. Oh, thank you. Tutelage. Right. Ooh, I can't pretend that is. I think I did quite well. I mean, it was really garlicky, but I think it still tasted good. I feel like you found this really rewarding as well. Having done it, now I want to go out and do more things. So what's the next challenge then? Mount Everest. <laughs> I am definitely going to think more about putting a bit more time into cooking and what I eat and kind of enjoying the process as well. Josie, congratulations, you have repeated the recipe. Thank you. <laughs>